All right, good morning, everybody, and welcome to our live board game breakfast. All righty, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Eric Summer. How's it Oh, your mic's not on. That is exactly how we plan these things. I'm Eric Summer. How is everybody today? All right, so if you don't know what's going on with these lines, the longer line, because we're gamers, is for breakfast which some of you haven't had in years. And the line over here is for promos that people are getting. So uh, once you're done with those, you can sit down. So we're really glad you are here today. Um, if you're wondering, you know, I'm glad that you decided not to wait in the very long line. You do not need to wait in that line. You can get your badge pretty much any time up till 3 o'clock today. So just go play games. The only thing you need your badge for initially is if you're going to check out games. But just let someone who waited in that line to check out a game and play with them. <laughs> So the line, if it is anything like last year, went down within an hour. So we're really glad you guys are here today. So this is the first time ever we've done more than one board game breakfast in the same week. This is our July 4th board game breakfast. And we have a lot of different guests that we're going to be having on, uh, different folks who are on this show. Are, oh, I'm sorry, guys. This is a <laughs> July 4th one, so no English allowed. America. All right. <laughs> However, they are going to be doing a show on Saturday night at 9 o'clock. This game is broken, so that's going to be right here, so we hope that you show up for that. All right, so as with all board game breakfast, we're going to start with the news. The news. That was very... I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> all right, so am I just going to continue moving? All right, so I'm going to continue talking here. All right, so actually, we don't really have any more game news because not a whole lot happened between uh, Monday and today. <laughs> it did not. Is your mic still not on? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, it, well. It has a glowy light. That's there, all. Yeah. there we go. There we go. Glowy lights are good. It's critical for me to have Eric's voice. That's pretty much the reason he's here <laughs> on the show. So no, the news that we have is just what's happening here at the con. If you're watching live, sorry, this is not as interesting to you, but we're going to be streaming a lot of stuff live. Um, at 2 o'clock today, there's going to be a media panel in here. Different folks from different podcasts and video shows are going to come. At 3 o'clock is Eric Lang, director's chair. I, I actually don't know what that is. Um, and, he he uh, builds a chair live on stage. <laughs> it's a carpentry show. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> We're going to also be doing, uh, tonight, Live Magical Athlete. Now, what this is, if you've never played Magical Athlete, first of all, it's one of the greatest games ever made. All yes. Right? Secondly, this is... <laughs> if you come, you can be part, a participant in this show. You can, you're going to get to play the game live. All right? So you get to come and play, and then some of the Dice Tower people are going to act out what you do. <laughs> The, I mean, the, the potential for abuse here is pretty, pretty strong. I know. That's I'm, why, gl that's I'm why glad I'm a commentator. That's right. That. <laughs> We're just going to announce the thing. Um, and I have some surprises up my sleeve for that. Of course you do. And then 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock tonight is our opening night game show that we do at every Dice Tower Con. And you have a chance to come and compete against everyone else to find out how much useless knowledge you might know. But not too much. That, that, that's vague. That's... <laughs> If you've been to our shows before, then you know what to expect at that. 
anyhow, I hope you guys have a good time. We have a lot of cool games set up in the hot games area here. There's a lot of vendors in the vendor room that will open at noon today, so we hope you go check that out. All my games are in that room for exceedingly low prices and probably for good reason. So <laughs> that's up to you. Buyer beware. <laughs> Don't look at my reviews. Just take them. Um, <laughs> so uh, is there anything else I'm missing, like news-wise? No. There's, there's stuff going on tomorrow, too. We got events every day. Most of the big events are in here. We know that you come here to play games, and yes, go play games, but stop in. See some of these different events during the day. Come by and see some of the panels. I know there's going to be a legacy panel. Rob Davio is going to be here, and um, there's a designer panel tomorrow. There's a lot of different things going on, and all that's in the book, hopefully. And there's other big events every night. Tomorrow night, Dice Tower Awards. Um, on Friday night, the Jack Vassar Memorial Fund Auction, and the top five overrated games. Yeah. Have you made your list yet? I've made the list. Um, I think my definition of overrated is going to be less intense than some of yours, but we'll see. When I mean, you say yours, you mean me? Uh, not you, necessarily. That's right. I knew he was talking about Sam and Z. Yeah. All right. OK, well, that's the regular news. Now we transition to Kickstarter news. Or actually, we're just going to introduce Suzanne and Mandy. Probably should have told you a long time ago. It's a very long walk up here. <laughs> oh, look, you, your intros came on real quickly. Do we sit here? You do. All right. We got a table, we got a microphone. Awesome. Hi, everybody. Hi. In, in, with the um, enormous amount of advance notice that I had on this one, I am fully prepared for this. I Dice thought Tower I would have been a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's our model. I don't know if it's a fun thing, but it's a fact thing, is I arrange my segments so I am on camera as little as possible because I hate being on camera. I love all my screenshots, and I love all my things because I, I don't have to be in front of you, so this is super fun. I don't have any of that here. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that the people who don't do screenshots, they love being on camera? But, and more power to them. I embrace okay. that, and I'm envious of it. So I've got two Kickstarter campaigns, and I have two apps to talk about. Who wants apps first? Raise your hand. Okay. Oh, that's There's like four good. people. Who wants, who wants campaigns first? Raise your hand. Oh, yeah. All oh. right. I think Whoa. the people have We want to spend <laughs> money. All right, Mandy, right? You and I are both reasonably avid Kickstarter backers. Yes. So first of all, have you heard about Builder, B-I-L-D-E-R? I don't know why they spelled it this way. Maybe it's a British thing because they're from England. <laughs> also, welcome to the show, Mandy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> So Builder is, think concept, but with little wooden pieces. If you've played concept and you're trying to get your friends to guess a word or a phrase based on putting markers on a board, well, this time in Builder, you're going to have lots of little different shaped wood bits. You're going to pull a card and it tells you what you need to describe. There's another card that tells you how you arrange the pieces. There's like little rules you do, and then you try to get your friends to guess it. It's a light party game. It's got amazing looking wooden bits. It's going to be a pledge of 35 euro plus shipping. And you basically can collect cards that spell B-I-L-D-E-R. I'm really worried about the educational system and how games are contributed. <laughs> I don't to think it. people are worried I'm about I'm still that. trying to figure out how to, what that is in dollars. Yeah. B-I-L-D-E-R. Right? Wait, wait. I was going to ask that, you know, because I always have to know what it is in Canadian dollars. In Canadian dollars? I don't know. What's 35 euro in Canadian dollars? It's 180 okay. in, in Canadian right, dollars. Actually. <laughs> It, pay, it plays 2 to 12 out of the box, 35 euro. I think it looks very clever, and the bits look amazing. I don't know. Is that something that you are I mean, I tend to like the heavier type games. I know, but... What? No, it looks fun, and it plays a, a high player heavy. count. Like, I'm sure, are a lot of people looking for high player count games? Is that something people want? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there you go. This I'm canceling a segment. Hang on. <laughs> It's nice knowing you all. Thanks for having me. All right, that's Builder, so check that one out. I think it looks really fun. The other one is actually a bring back of a game that some of us... I'm excited for this one. <laughs> ...have really been looking forward to because it's been out of print and hard to get for a long time, and that is Snowdonia, the deluxe edition. Yes. It just launched on Kickstarter. For all you who don't know, Snowdonia is a worker placement, worker placement. Euro-style game uh, in, like, a cold territory with hole clearing and trap lane and all this other stuff. It, it's, it's been out of print for a while. It's been in yeah. high demand. There's tons of little expansions. And one of the greatest things is, is NSKN got the rights to it. And they're putting everything into a deluxe package. So 
all the little expansions that people have been chasing after for a while, boom, in the box, just there. It is a little pricier, it's like $88 plus shipping, but you're gonna get so much content. There's also, Tony Bodell also did a brand new scenario that so if you've, if you've got everything Snowdonia, there's also this, there is, if you have everything Snowdonia, there's a little pledge level just to get the new stuff so you don't have to commit to like getting a whole new edition and stuff like that. But yeah. I know you're probably gonna jump on this oh, one. Oh, absolutely. The shipping's a little high, but I am willing Canada. to. Canada. I know, I have to look at these things. I'm sure other people do too. But I heard this is a staple. I heard this one has to be in the collection, so yep. I'm excited to try it. But does it come with actual coal? Uh, Arrangements can be made. It comes with really awesome bits. It like, does. Everything has like special little custom bits. All right. It's gonna be glorious. Yeah, looks great. That was a very useful question. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the only two campaigns I have for today, and I might cover them in Mondays yep. to show pictures, so I don't have to do this. But then I figured, well, I'm here. I might as well talk about a couple of apps that are recent releases that you might be interested in. Oh. All right. For all those digital gamers you know, on the them. plane. So <laughs> remember, five people want the apps. Oh. <laughs> Well, you're all going to have to sit through it because I'm going to talk about it, and you can't do anything about it, so ha! <laughs> all right, so Mandy and I, we, we game yeah. on, on, so first of all, have you played hardback? I still haven't played the physical copy. Okay. Oh, and shrink. Oh, I know. What is wrong I have with you? Games to play. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who else has a wall of shame? <gasps> Come on. Thank you. Well, as Rodney Smith likes to call it, the wall of opportunity. Of opportunity. So let's be positive. Of course, Rodney. Hardback yeah. just released, Tim Fowers just released a digital version of Hardback. It's on Android, it's on iOS. It's beautiful. If you've played paperback, it's a similar it's mechanism. It's got multiple levels of AI. You can play online. Now, I personally, I liked hard. I liked paperback when mm -hmm. it came out, but then hardback came out. I was like, whoa, because it combines a letter game and Star Realms, and Star Realms is oh, amazing. Well, I heard right? it's like the gamer version of paperback. I mean, I mean yeah. you, could, you could define it that way, but it has like combos that you build with right. different like types of books, like romance or western, or whatever it is. It's a really, really good game, and it's a really, really nice app. So it's four ninety nine. It just released. I definitely recommend it if you want to check that. And you can learn. It has a nice little tutorial. Perfect. It's got great art by Ryan Goldsberry. So that is hardback. If you need entertainment on the plane ride home. Of course. <laughs> And then the other app that just recently released that I've been enjoying, and I played it a bunch on the plane here actually, is Istanbul. <gasps> so good. Right? Yeah, so good. So, so good. Akram Digital just released Istanbul, the digital app. It's got multiple levels of AI. It's yeah. got a ton of different gameplay options it's with so like good. the board setup. You can randomize it. You can do short paths, long paths. There's neutral worker options, all the options in the app. It's really well done. The mm -hmm. art's all there. I will say I've hit a couple of like visual presentation bugs where mm -hmm. you like if you rotate the screen, some like visual elements kind of linger for a second. It doesn't. And it's on iOS. We're in the game. It's on iOS, iOS. and on Android, so you can get that. And uh, right now it's it's for sale for six dollars and ninety nine cents. I've really really been enjoying it. If you want a slightly more in depth Euro style game on your iPad <laughs> or on your Android tablet, Istanbul they did it really well. It looks great, and it's nice. The game's been around forever. We kind of play online. I'll press okay. you. Okay. okay. Why do we go there? Because Jeez. it's just so fun. <laughs> all right, and my last thing is if you like to play solo games at all, there is a really great version of a game called Hostage Negotiator. Yes. Uh, it's a solo only game and it's got lots of different options. The app is right on sale. It's on sale right now, 99 cents. So if you wanted what? to check it out, yeah, it's on sale like right now. That's why I thought I mentioned oh, it. So okay. if you want to get a deal, then get it. Hostage okay. Negotiator okay. app. There Look you go. Look at all those people with heads went down. <laughs> Gamers and their deals. <laughs> all right, thank you, Mandy and right. Suzanne. <laughs> Well, this seems like an uh, easy transition since Suzanne talked about solo stuff, so we're going to have Mike come up and briefly talk about solo things. I've been discussing with Mike if we could start like a solo gamer board game convention. You come to it, we put you in little cubicles, and you just play <laughs> games by yourself. You eat by yourself. Yeah. Well, if there was like Thanks table for service for the food. Well, that was uh, Suzanne's version of being unprepared. I'm about to drop the mic on being unprepared. <laughs> yeah, I know. That, that really was, went poorly, right? That was outrageous. Not, not at all. The uh, first thing I want to say is this is my first Dice Tower Con. I'm incredibly excited to be here. Yay! Uh, anybody else uh, first Dice Tower? Yeah, look at that. Wow, that's all impressive. Right. Good stuff. So I'm very excited to be here. It's been fantastic so far. This is an amazing looking crowd. Um, I really, th there's only a couple of things I want to talk about briefly. Number one, is I get a few people that will ask about uh, what solo gamers do at conventions. Um, <laughs> I've been wondering this. It, well, look, I don't necessarily plan on playing a solo game here. Now, I was talking to somebody earlier, this gentleman here. It's, it's good as a, as a wind-down activity. And maybe at the end of the day, if you, you want to wind down in your hotel room, maybe that's, that's not a bad idea. But 
really, I, I tend to play with people when I'm at a convention. I'm not only a solo gamer, but the one solo game I do want to talk about is in the hot games room. So if you have a chance, I, I set it up yesterday, and I'm ah. a little bit distracted by it. You were? Uh, just a little bit. If it's stolen, it's you. I'm coming after All right, well, uh, I, I have proxies out there doing my work for me. Um, <laughs> it's called uh, My Little Scythe. Yes. And why I'm so excited about this is that not only is it fantastically beautiful and a variation on one of my favorite games, but it also, you had mentioned, one of the reasons you like it so much is that it introduces gaming mechanics to younger kids that now can have those uh, skills to take into you know, games that, that they'll play as they get older. Well, it also has a solo mode in it. So this is a perfect way, I feel, to indoctrinate the younger gamers. <laughs> Doctor, that's a great word. Solo propaganda, games. I believe, is the... Uh... You, you call it propaganda, call it what you will. I find it to be a fantastic way to introduce this notion that, hey, you know, it's wonderful to play games with friends, but if you would like to play this beautiful looking game by yourself and there's no one else around, you have that opportunity. So you're saying, kids, rather than play with your parents, <laughs> play by yourself. <laughs> Dad's too busy. Get out of my hair, basically. <laughs> I think you're framing it in a particular way that maybe is not in the spirit of what I'm getting at. But we no, never I just think it's, it's beautiful. I'm looking forward to playing it, so hopefully uh, if you have not been over to the Hot Games room, it's one of the games set up, and it's beautiful. So, Well, there won't be a, a line now or anything. <laughs> and just play it solo. Just We'll have a line of people waiting to play it. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. So. To clarify, please don't play solo <laughs> games in the Hot Games room. Do not, do not. I cannot guarantee your safety. In that regard. Fair point, fair point. That's all I got. All right, thank you, Mike. Thank you. All right, so now we're going to talk about some of the other upcoming things. Ah, ah, ah. 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 You bow after you do this stuff. No, I, I really don't want to bow. We found we went to a Florida thrift store, which was terrifying. Wow. terrifying. They had fifty cent <laughs> plastic knives. Fifty cents. A whole crate of them. Anyway, there were so many. But we found a Did you board buy one? game. No, no. We bought this instead. Yeah, we bought advertising, which is a game all about slogans and jingles. So we what we like to do is we like to do like a little bit of a sketch. So we're gonna set a scene real quick. Okay, okay. Right. It's a madman, Don Draper's office. It's eleven o'clock. He's only four scotches in. And, okay, you know, we don't have time for that, but, so this is a game all about slogans and jingles and We all things. love them, right, right? And so you get a jingle, and then you have to guess what it is. You want to do one? Yeah, okay, okay. So let's do the other. Um, uh, break me off a piece of that. Yeah. Easy, easy. But the problem is, this game was printed in 1989. <laughs> so we got that one, but how about this? It only tastes expensive. Exactly. So that is for Master Blend Coffee. Ooh. We should have known that. Ah. What else? All right. Let's just break out the frosty bottles and keep your tonics dry. Duh. Okay. Okay. Canada Dry, Gilby's Gin. Okay. How about this? Nick knew it. 800-325-3535. <laughs> Sheraton Hotels. Oh. Did you call the number to see if it works? <laughs> You're like, what's the phone? We're easy to get a lawn with. <laughs> no. Oregon turf, growers turf, true green. Anyway. Anyway, I really expected Hilarious. more. I expected more out of Florida thrift stores, and we just can't even. This is everything that's wrong with board games. It's trivia. It's dated. It takes way too long. But look how many. <laughs> There's three jingles on each of those. Look how many. <laughs> First person to go through the stack successfully wins. So Tom, can you just, we can't can get rid of this, deal with this. I don't want to touch this anymore. Can you, can In this I case, I am very happy to oblige. It's not from California. I don't get it out of here. <laughs> yes! Down. Look how solid, it can't be killed. It's flame resistant. I can't. All right. All right, thank you guys. All right, let's uh, class up the joint a bit here now. No, not yet. Not yet. 
fine. Swear he doesn't read the schedule. He doesn't even he doesn't even interrupt on schedule. <laughs> it's a planned bit that he interrupts with a different planned bit. What? Take me down tomorrow! Can you come talk in the mic? <laughs> There's people High on the internet. Noon. They need to hear you too. High noon tomorrow! Alright. It's the grudge match. That's true. Okay, so tomorrow out in the um, uh, foyer, uh, foyer, the foyer. Uh, we're going to set up Looping Louie, and you're going to see Bonnaker weep. Tell them why we're doing this, Vassal. Well, Tell them why. You weep for a lot of reasons, but um, <laughs> in this particular case... Tell them why. It's a rematch for... Uh, I w what happened was I was... I, was ha I had a headache, and... Um, he lies. I let him win, um, looping Louie. We're going to do a rematch, and then we're going to have a plate of whipped cream. And I'm using the whole thing. Oh, the whole thing. Okay. It's going to go in your face in the when you lose. Face. The right. whole thing. So that's tomorrow at... Tomorrow, Thursday at noon in out the foyer. In the come watch if you looping dare. Looping Louie. Please Tom come Vassal cheer for be. me because I'm really tired of this nonsense. <laughs> but here's the problem. If, if, if Let's say I win, which I will, and then... Then you're going to go on and be like, oh, best uh, two out of three. Well, well I'm going to win, so it won't matter. There we go. If you but win, we're done for that game. We'll do something else. We'll, we'll do. <laughs> How did this start? Give them a little background to this. Okay, so he, the way this worked is we went to, we, we had uh, to the West. West, and they had this thing where you play, played a bunch of like kids game type things against um, a bunch of players. So they knew who he was, so they gave him the easiest one to play against Again, people. he lies, okay. And so he won all his matches, and I went by and said, you, you won that only because those people don't know how Looping Louie works, really. You kind of have to get the flow. And then he challenged me, blah, blah, blah. He, he punched me in the face me first to play Loop and Louie. so that I was at a disadvantage after I, won, I slightly lost. After I won six Loop and Louie matches in a row against all people who donated you, to charity. Are you, are you claiming one. that you were, like, tired, too, then? Like, oh, oh so after six matches, I, I still won. I won, won. The six matches against all these people who donated money for charity, which was really wonderful to spill it on. Great Great charity. That's true. Great charity. Great Thank you to the Spiel guys for doing things. that. Invited us on to be the celebrities, and Tom selected some game, and I just walked over. No, I didn't select over. a game. They gave us our I game. I walked over to Loop and Louie. It was there. I'm like, okay. I had never played Loop and Louie. I'd played Loop and Chewy. I'd played the Bumblebee one. That's the one. same game. Okay, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'd never played, and he's like, oh, yeah, I can beat you at this. And you pick the easiest game. Destroyed him. All right. We'll find Crushed out Crushed him. All right. That's we'll it. Tomorrow, tomorrow noon out here, the grudge match for pie in the face. All right, thank you. All right, goodbye. Go. We should applaud there, though, because what you just saw has never happened, I think, in the history of the Dice Tower, where he did a whole segment there and didn't mention his company. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't come back. It's over. Hey, Sorry, you're done. Speaking of companies, did you know double pleasure is waiting for you is a slogan for... Double mint gum, but one of the selections they offered is Ultima 2. Oh, these I, are multiple choice? They're multiple choice. So they, they have Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, Nestle Quick, Double Mint Gum, which is correct, and Ultima 2. Ultima. <laughs> double pleasure is waiting for you. Ultima 2. There's treasure in this. There's treasure in this. All right, now after that unscheduled scheduled interruption, now we have Dave Luzo is going to come and talk. Hi. Yes, hi. How are you all doing? This is my first time here. I am very excited. And um, I wanted to, to sing for you if, you, if that's okay. Uh, I would do, like to do it standing up. Is that okay? You can stand up. Ah. <clears throat> okay. I'll read some of these cards. Ah, this is going to be interesting. Um, I'm just going to, I'm going to sing a song for you. And in the song, I'm singing about three games, but I'm not going to name the game. So if you're able to figure out which games they are, you're incredibly smart. And I hope you like it. <clears throat> I don't know if the guitar is going to be picked up. Sorry, stealing that as well. <laughs> this won't work. I'll hold it. <laughs> Took everything out. 
Okay. <clears throat> the game, the game the group has picked tonight is known to all but me. A lot of different factions and we're in space, I see. There ain't no cards, there ain't no dice expanding left and right. And everyone knows what to do. They're not at all polite. In the end, it is no wonder I came in last, but not upset. Because I tied with the guy who taught me the game, so I wasn't half that bad. That's a win in my book. That's a win in my book. I gave him a look, it was the road I took. That's a win in my book. You can clap, yeah, you can do that. <laughs> A fairly crowded table, but everything seems right. All is good and peaceful until my neighbor picks a fight. He's drafting army after army, soonest a blow is looking red. So it turned into an arms race, one he surely will regret. In the end, it is no wonder we both were on the bottom of the score. But I had one more shield, so in the end, I won the war. That's a win in my book. That's a win in my book. I gave him a look, it was the road I took. That's a win in my book. Now, a good friend built himself some shelves. He's an architect. I came to check it out. Now he has this great collection, but one awful big box stood out. It's nice he lit some candles, but he got reckless with the flame. The curtain got on fire, his complete house burnt down. But, including that terrible game, that's a win in my book. That's a win in my book. He gave me a look, it was the road I took, that's a win in my book. Now, what last year I was in Birmingham, and I was approached by Dan with Cora, so it was sweet. <laughs> and he wanted to make a podcast quiz thingy, just like a panel show, and I said, of course we can. We didn't know who would like to listen to all the idiotic things we do. But on Saturday night, on this stage, we have a live show at 9 p.m. Yeah. And everyone gets a kazoo. That's a win in my book. That's a win in my book. So come on, have a look about what we took. That's a win in my book. Thank you. Um, aren't you going to tell us what those games were? Yeah, sure. Can, wait, can Eric, did you get any of them? Wh which games did I which sing Which games about? was he talking about? Well, sorry, what? Not Eclipse. Seven Wonders. Se totally, the second one was Seven Wonders. Not Cosmic. No, he said no, no cards. No cards, no dice. I haven't played that one, so I don't know if that's right. It has dice. <laughs> it has was dice. it Scythe? It's not Scythe, because we're in space, I see. Yes, Gaia Project. Uh, Correct. All right, what about the third one? That could be like, is it this game? <laughs> Which game could that be? There's so many. Oh, it's Kingdom, Kingdom Builder. Kingdom Builder, yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, good choice. <laughs> so, right, thank you, Dave. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> all right, like I said, on Friday, we're going to be doing our top five overrated games and where does the top 10 list come from well we got to have sam and z come on up at this point <laughs> we got to represent both board game blender and token punch lunch <laughs> when it comes to four-wheel drive one word says it all Hi, everybody. 
Precision equipment for precision engines. Jeep. Also Jeep. I have no idea. By the way, guys, thank you so much for this. This is good. <laughs> this is very good because we had nothing to talk about. <laughs> How sweet it, it is. isn't. To be loved by you. How salt. sweet it isn't. Morden's salt. <laughs> <laughs> Mo Mother's borscht is one of the options. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right, so, so, all right, so hey, we're glad to be here. One of the things we'd like to talk about is we have a whole lot of people here who are part of the Dice Tower, including these guys. If you are involved at all in the Dice Tower, uh, you do a con you know, you're a contributor, or you help as a volunteer, or you work at Dice Tower News. If you could stand, because we have a lot of people here. And we are very pleased with that fact. Stand up. Come on, come on. And all of those people as well. Thank you, guys. <laughs> oh, did we actually clear out the breakfast? Oh, man. I think they moved it. <laughs> uh, all right, so, um, but. I don't know how we're supposed to follow Dave. That's the problem. Yeah, that's. That but one of the things that we game. have here is because we're all here, this is one of your best opportunities, other than Dice Tower Cruise, there's still 10 rooms left. Um, one of your best opportunities to play a game with one of us, except for Sam on, uh, is it? Is it Saturday? Thursday? Is it tomorrow? When are you, doing, when are you wasting yeah, today? Yeah, Thursday, don't bother me, yeah. please. Um, He's basically playing TI4. I've got to school five other people all in my day. favorite game. Oh. My second favorite game of all time. I, I oh, know. yes it is. <laughs> Sam, I'm gonna Sam, play wait, my favorite game wait. at nine in the morning as well and then I'll be available at 9.45. <laughs> and that play will fall in line in minutia with all the others. Spell it. M-I-N-U-T-I-A. What is this dirty? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> all right, Z, what are you looking forward to here at the con? Um, can I say what I'm not? What I'm glad I'm not roped into. How Here about that? Here it goes. TI4, baby. He did ask. <laughs> no. He did ask. He no. said, is there still room in that and what, did I, and what did I say immediately And I after? said, no. I don't know. I wasn't listening to what you were saying. <laughs> Come on now. I asked. I was like, oh, do you still have a spot for one more? And then before you were like, ah, I was like, psych. <laughs> Sam was Wait. immediately thinking, who could we kick out? <laughs> I yeah, was actually exactly. thinking that. <laughs> um... I, I think what I'm looking forward to is playing games I know I already like. I mean, I'm sure I'll try a few games that I haven't played, but just being able to share and sort of enjoy again a game I know I enjoy already with fresh eyes from other people, that's fun. And I love being able to share something you know you already uh, like that's going to be hopefully uh, infectiously fun. That's, that's what I'm looking forward to the most. Infectiously fun. On the flip side, I got it. I brought with me about 40 games that I probably won't like. <laughs> so find me <laughs> and let's play. I really did. There's a box of games. I, I, I brought a lot of games. Yeah. You're playing one of them. That's what I he does. Well, yes, we have some, uh, some Dice Tower Tonight gaming to, to resolve. resolve. To resolve? <laughs> resolve. <laughs> gaming sounds so unfun. Also, though, if you're wandering around, I, I will be teaching games and stuff and wondering. It will be a good time. Seriously, do not let yourself, you know, say, oh, I don't know what to do. If you don't know what to do, grab a random game, put it at a table, and put teacher on it. Who knows, right? Someone might come by and teach it to you. Yeah, you got all the hot games set up also. You can always just hover around there, get into something, or just watch something as it's being played and jump in on the next one. Yep. That's, that's easy. It's fun. It's, it should be a very relaxed endeavor, this whole, this whole convention. Now, halfway through today, starting at noon, and then going through tomorrow and uh, Friday and Saturday, Chaz and Marty are going to be recording live over in that room. Their backs are towards you, so I'm asking you to please, please don't go behind them and make faces and ruin their thing at all. Please don't do that um, at all. Wink, I would be, wink. I'd be really upset if that happened on my channel. <laughs> All right, I'll go. Murph over Brothers, there. I'm giving you total freedom there. <laughs> I know. They're planning over there. The crayons came out. <laughs> what, are, what are you looking forward to most, Sam? 
I am actually looking forward to that TI4 game. It's been the, it's going to be the first time in a while that I've played, and um, I think right now, currently, I like everybody that we're playing the game with. <laughs> that could change after you know five hours of of annoyance, but huh? Oh, it was nice knowing. Okay, wow, there's fine. a lot so of smash She's already on planning this. on doing something untoward, so that's fine. But uh, no, it's I, I love the game. It's it's great, and it's going to produce a lot of memories. I already know that because I have I played I played TI um, three twice think twice here Ever. at Dice Tower Con. <laughs> oh, at Dice Tower Con, and so and I remember those times greatly. So uh, it's a great game, and. This guy just doesn't know what he's missing. Can I hang out even if I'm not playing? No. Please? <laughs> no. You've got to play. I want to blog come and on hang this out game. With you I want to bring the happens. loudest potato chips I can find. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there are a lot of spiky bits in that game. You realize that, right? And they, they, they are hurled rather easily. I'll be busy during that time. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, thank you, Sam and Z. You'll see them again tonight right. at the Magical Athlete Show. All right, this time, Mike Parkinson. When a new game comes out, Mike starts working on a way to fix it and change it immediately. Most games need a fix of some sort, a, a change to make it better. I went to Origins this last week, and I found this game called Welcome To. It's a new game, many, many problems. Here's the first problem. The name. This thing called a pad. Well, I discovered something called a laminator. <laughs> Just so you know, those have been around for a while. <laughs> well, I didn't know much about it, so I've been going around my house laminating everything. I mean, the couch, the dice, whatever I can find that the kids can get into. This, this is great. Games will now last forever. And the, but it does really help, especially when you... Wait, are you eliminating the, rules? These are the rules from se, the new Century Spice game. Century... Eastern Wonders. Eastern Wonders, thank you, yes. Why did you laminate them? Because <laughs> they can be laminated. <laughs> <laughs> Ask a stupid question. <laughs> but I'm really excited about this next item. I've been working on... This is a, it's still a work in progress. Please don't judge me on it yet. But I'm going to judge you on it's it. It's going to be amazing. I'm pretty sure Cool Mini or not is going to want to talk to me about this, but I have this new thing coming out called The Simpsons Donut Rage. <laughs> I'm basically taking Blood Rage, giving it a brand new unthought of theme before called The Simpsons, where they don't go to Valhalla or whatever it's called. They go to Donut Halla. And I do have Eric Lang's name on here, which he'll probably want removed. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, this is, a, in, this is where you, they're in Springfield instead of that other place. There's a board involved. And luckily, I have all my factions here of the Simpsons with all of them from Homer, Lisa, um, the other names, whoever they are. And basically, you're going to play the exact same rules. Now, I was going to go with My Little Blood Rage, but that was taken by Scythe. So this is what I came up with. And I'm pretty proud of it so far. But I'm, you can expect to see this done in about maybe a couple more weeks. Yeah, OK. Well, first of all, we, we can't copyright issues in all our YouTube channels. So I'm sorry, but whoa, 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 oh, oh. We'll see you next week. Well, the figure survived. <laughs> well, I might be late on my segment next week. <laughs> oh, Tom's so mean to Mike. Anyway, that's all I got for this time. <laughs> all righty. Next we have, from very close to here, actually, Danny and Derek. Where are they? There's no rush because this isn't live or anything. <laughs> Whoa. 
it was a little crazy. Um, last year was our first Dice Tower Con, and we were out there. And then this year, we're up here with Tom Vassell and the Dice Tower crew, so that's really cool. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm Danny. And I'm Derek, and we do a little segment on Dice Tower Breakfast called You Bet, Bet Your Bippy. <laughs> Were, so, were we supposed to say that too at the same time? In case maybe. you don't know. In case you don't know. Um, one of the most common questions we get asked is, what is a bippy? Um, and we don't know why we chose that phrase. We, <laughs> <laughs> we thought it was funny. We've heard it as children. Um, I'm sure we found out it was on like some kind of like 60s <laughs> TV show. Yeah, yeah. Laughing. You know, laugh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, so I'm sorry, Eric, expert. Laughing. Yeah. Oh, laughing. Laugh From yeah. the 60s, yeah. And they, they asked, uh, what is a bippy? Well, and the answer is, it's a baby bip. <laughs> and what's a bip? Well, it's a big bippy. <laughs> so, Tom, do you actually know what a bippy is? I'm really afraid to answer this question. <laughs> oh, I guess there's I, no... I thought I knew what it was, but now I'm not sure. <laughs> um, it's just your tushy. Your okay, then I didn't know like what you, it was. You bet your bottom. Your back, yeah, you, know, you bet your bottom dollar. All right. So that's what a bippy is. So to answer that question, you guys can keep leaving comments on what a bippy is, but that's what a bippy is. It's I'm glad mom. we had this talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just clear Why the, would you the bet that question, though? you know? Uh, I don't know. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're probably going down <laughs> the wrong <laughs> path here, sorry. Uh, but before we leave, Derek um, actually wants to give you something, and we're going to plug the Jack Vassal Memorial Fund. Yeah, so this is just gonna be, um, I'm donating this as a, a piece for auction. So Ooh. it's just a little original painting I did. Thank you. So just, you know, look forward to that. Save your money. Oh, this is great. We're gonna, yeah, the, the Jack Vassal auction is this uh, Friday at nine o'clock, right? No, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, yeah, we'll put this up there then. Awesome, thank you. Thank you guys, that's really nice. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks. They're here to play games. Play games with them when they're here. I didn't even, I didn't even announce him. I was prepared. This is where Boniker was supposed to come on. Thankfully, Steve is interrupting me this time. So let's see. What do we have to talk about today? All right, well, we have to talk about what me and Jason have been working on and Derek have been working on for the last few weeks, and that is the Dice Tower Awards. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Where is the trophy? Look at, look at this amazing thing that we made. Um, Panda Games, wherever they are, thank pa you. Panda Game Manufacturing. Yes, and there's going to be these nice plaques on it that you guys will see soon that will be revealed because only the law offices or the accounting offices of Levine, 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 Levine know the winners at this point. There's uh, four of you now? <laughs> we, I've multiplied. It's, I know, it's like a horror movie. <laughs> so, hmm, what else have I been doing? I've been getting promos everywhere over there. There's blank ones, if you guys didn't know, which are in this little goodie bag that you can get at the merch booth. We'll be signing these, or... At least, say we. When I say we, I mean me, because Tom has already signed 300 of them. Yeah, well, okay, so this was an idea I had, which is, Sam and me and Z regret it instantly, was we, I, it was like last year Kickstarter, we said we would draw like a custom card of these. And we're like, oh, that's not so hard to do. That took us a really long time. We sat there, and we were trying to draw them all a little bit different. After a while, it was just like stick figure with a smile. <laughs> that was a lot more work than I thought. I have a lot of respect for real artists. Um, well, they usually don't make them individually. Like each, they, they have a printing process. I know, but sometimes I sit there and go, why hasn't an artist made those 400 cards for that game yet? I guess, yes. Yes. You're right. You know what? If you guys did grab one of those blank ones, bring it up to Tom and ask him to draw a picture. It's not going to happen. <laughs> this could be the convention game this year. Was that year. what was in that bag, those promo cards? Not just that. Okay. Let's see what else. Um, you have like one minute. I know. So, <laughs> hmm, there's not, we're not doing the flea market this year, are we? No, we're not doing the flea market. But there's an amazing section over in the Cool Stuff booth with all the stuff, and it's going to open at noon today. So if you're looking for all those awesome games that we've reviewed, hmm, where could they be at noon? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm part of that I, is right. Okay? I think everyone's running out now out of the room because they're all going to get in line. Do you, okay. <laughs> Do you sell used cars? I mean, seriously. No, <laughs> but yes, all of our games are at the Cool Stuff booth. Yes, they're very inexpensive. You get what you get. 
Okay, let's not, let's not call a spade a spade here. Those are amazing games. <clears throat> but this year, as it turns out, I'm not going to be flying back and forth every single day. Only one day, because I've been in World Cup I think you've mode. used your minute up. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> but when you do find me, assuming that he brought them, I will be playing all the new unlocks. So if anyone wants to play unlocked, find me and you can play it. Did you forget? Did you take them out of my bags? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Yes, then I brought them. And just a little promotion here, in case we didn't have enough. Has anyone been to the Magic Kingdom recently or Disney? Oh, good. Because <laughs> look what I have that we need to open up live. You gotta wait the number respond. one CCG game ever of CCG games, Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom. Let's see what we got in this pack. <laughs> they only give you one pack of five cards a day. What, what did you say? Most expensive CCG ever? $100 to get the 119 actually. You're down to like negative a minute now. Well, we have to see what we got here first. <laughs> I'm sorry. Princess Aurora's Rose Petals. I have one of those. Do you? Yeah. Monstro's <laughs> Water Spout. Do you have that? No. From Pinocchio. Eeyore's Gloomy Cloud. Mowgli's Swinging Vine. So this game's about stuff, not the people themselves. Oh, and we can't forget the Woozle's Woozly Nightmare. What? Oh, that's right. That was a freaky, freaky scene in that movie. Heffalumps and Woozles. Heffalumps yeah. and Woozles. I can't sing the song because we have copyright infringement. Please no, no, don't no. hit me with the hammer. No, 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 no. You won't have copyright infringement. I have a question, Jason. Yes. Why did we just do that? Because this is the number one CCG game. Have you not watched our top 10 CCGs? So thank you, Jason, for coming on the show! <laughs> All right, this time we're gonna have up Ambie and Crystal from Board Game Blitz. <laughs> oh, Everyone can't. gets a card. Everyone gets a card. It's a souvenir. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna remember this. You've known us all along. Motel 6. <laughs> no, yes, that's, that's, definitely that's it. we've known you all along. But what's the answer? <laughs> what, you read it then? Beatrice. <laughs> I didn't write, write the cards, I'm just reading them. <laughs> all right, how about be a part of it? Face tower. <laughs> Canadian club. I don't want to be a part of that. <laughs> all righty, well, first of all, I want to show, if you have noticed, we've been getting a lot of these uh, Dice Guy things. So we have a couple new ones that we're going to show. Hopefully this will work on the screen there. Look at that. There is Ambie. And we all want those dogs. I want, if they sold those dogs, I think I would buy one, mostly because you get to set it somewhere and it wouldn't move. <laughs> but don't step on it. <laughs> now, why did we make... Why did we make these for them? That's because we're announcing today that Amy and Chris are going to be joining us on the video channel and be doing video content for the Dice Tower in the rest of this year. Which technically I'm already doing, but now it's official. It was a soft <laughs> launch. It was yeah. a soft launch. Crystal showed up one time for um, the Dice Tower tonight and then never left. In fact, eventually I was off the show. <laughs> I'm taking over just piece by piece. It's that's, fine. That's how it works. Okay, I'm actually cool with that. I need to cut something out. <laughs> yeah, so you're doing that. What else are you guys going to be doing? Um, so I'm going to do a, uh, a monthly q and I'm going to call it Board Game Brunch because, you know, we've got a lot of the other meals covered. Uh, <laughs> I'm still doing Dice Tower tonight, and then I have a video game show in the works that's uh, going to be coming up, which I'll be announcing the details of coming up pretty soon, and I'll also be doing some game reviews as well. Yeah, I'll also be doing game reviews. We Here, pull had, the mic in a little bit. Oh, sorry. I'll also be doing game reviews. We have another, we had our channel, Board Game Blitz, where I had done some instructional videos and like occasional vlogs, which is very occasional because that takes a long time to do instructional videos. <laughs> but if I do any more, those will also be on the Dice Tower. But I was also thinking of starting a new series about 18xx games, which are great. Um, <laughs> yes. So I'll start with like an introduction and then like go into more detail of them. So hopefully 
uh, people will get an idea of what they are. <laughs> now, you've seen Abby before. If you watch Token Punch Lunch, which you yeah. should, you've seen her singing there, which is really <laughs> incredible, and she does a great job on that, for sure. <laughs> And we're definitely, we're, we're open to suggestions as far as what kind yes. of video content you all want to see from us, especially if you know us from our podcast and you think there'd be something we'd be good at, uh, feel free to shoot us an email because we have Dice Tower emails now too. So you can email crystal at dicetower.com or ambi at dicetower.com and uh, we're wanting to hear from you. And uh, with ambi, I wanted to say I need, I have enough Zs, right? <laughs> I have enough people playing short little games. I need the 18xx <laughs> factor in here to have a Euro games. We get some complaints. People think I don't like Euro games. That's not true. I just there's a lot of garbage ones out there. But Ambi likes those garbage games. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I don't she like does. Garbage Euros. <laughs> 18xx. There you go. Well, I'm really excited about this. So they're gonna be here for the whole con. You'll be able to find them around here. Anything else you guys want to say before it's almost time to open this thing? I know. Wow. Well, mm. Ambie's fifth Dice Tower Con. This yep. is my second. Uh, we're both really excited to be here, so make sure you come up and say hello to us, please. We want to play some games with you. And I think one of you is on the show today. Uh, so I'm on the media panel, yeah, today at yeah. 2. Um, I'm in, we're both in the TI4 game with Sam, so if anybody <laughs> wants to come heckle us during that, that would be great. I'm really worried for Sam. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay, so a one more thing, uh, a couple things before we go. Um, we have a new thing we made here, and this is going to be hard to see because uh, these are very small, but you know, in the past we've made our little poker chips that we have uh, first player and the slow player poker chip. If you never got one, they're very useful. It's very passive aggressive. You don't say anything. You just put the chip in front of that person. And uh, this one says, I'm winning. It has a picture of Suzanne's uh, meeple on because she wins a lot of games. Uh, and you just, meeple, dice guy, sorry. You just put this in front of the person, and you're like, you know, maybe you shouldn't be attacking me because they're winning. Um, this one has Jason Levine on it. It's called Winner. You just take this one in front of you when you've won. This one is Traitor. You can figure out who's on that one. It's a pretty obvious choice. Uh, this one says Hurry Up. That's what you put in front of the slow player. This is this says Mandy's Dice Guy. That, that, that's not like a thing. It's just, I, you know, I was running out of people. Um, <laughs> This one says, dice hate me. You can take this one when, uh, like Sam, the dice come and never go your way. And this is a first player marker. So we're going to be selling these at the um, Gen Con, I think, right? Okay. Um, but if you're here today, we'll give one to everybody who comes here. So Melody, wherever she is, she's up there. She's going to have a box here in the front. So when we close, you can come to the front. And then you can go get in line or go play games, which means the people in the front can get there first because that's the way things should be. You back row people who came in at the last minute. <laughs> we really appreciate you taking this time to come watch our show. We really appreciate you coming to Dice Tower Con. Spread the word because we plan to make each con bigger and better. We already have some cool ideas and things that we're planning to implement next year. And this con is only going to grow and get more exciting. And I'm really pumped about it. It's one of my favorite cons to come to because we have so many of the Dice Tower staff here and I get to hang out with them and I get to hang out with you and you really are the best audience and it's so fun. Do not, we always say this, do not hesitate to come talk to us. You know, I ask people, I, I came to Dice Tower Con but you looked busy. Well, if I'm in the middle of a show. <laughs> <laughs> probably not the best time to, you know, hey, I'm gonna. Can I get a selfie? Hold on, we're gonna, like, <laughs> So, <laughs> Also, you know, if you're going to take pictures, make sure the person you're with knows how to use your camera. <laughs> it's like something I've noticed. That, like, I, I, oh, I just took a picture of myself. I'm like, well, that's... <laughs> anyway, but yeah, please come say hi to us. We, we like to talk to you. That's one of the reasons we're here. So with that being said, I guess we're going to open the Dice Tower Con officially. And so... <laughs> Do you know I brought that hammer in just for those two bits? That was it. <laughs> we got to drag that thing all the way back down to Homestead. The little one I used to use, the little gavel I used to smash things with, that's actually going to be auctioned off tomorrow and, or on Friday in the Jack Vassal uh, auction. I said I would do it last year, then I forgot. But Are I brought we it using it to run the auction and then auctioning it off? Well, that's interesting. Yeah. But then how do you auction off the gavel with without this one. the gavel? Oh. <laughs> See, now you have another use for it. This is why I'm here. Ah! All righty, Melody. 
Melody, if you come down and get that box ready for people to grab one of those. And by the way, it's one per person, so do not grab. Oh, my, my, my wife couldn't make it. Well, too bad. All right. My friend wanted to come. He didn't, though. All right. So with that being said, thank you guys for coming, and the show is now open. Thank you, guys. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.